Oh. Do it. Well, welcome to Dev Live at Oracle Open World 2017. We're on, what is this, day three? Day something or other. It's Tuesday. Well, there's Sunday with the community yeah, day. That's, yeah. And then there's Monday. Yeah. And so this makes today day three. What about Saturday when we had all the students in? That's right. So I counted Sunday. Okay. No, <laughs> oh, that was Saturday. That was Saturday. That's what I said, Saturday. So wow. Anyway, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> this is really bad video. <laughs> wow, great I start. Would, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Laura. Maybe <laughs> we should do this later <laughs> in the afternoon next time. <laughs> tell me, tell me, what is new with Apex? So this year, or at Open World this year, we're talking about Apex 5.2, uh, which is the release we're working on. And uh, we've got some exciting new features coming up. With like what? Well, I will tell you. <laughs> but, you know, um, obviously we utilize ORDS or Oracle REST data services to talk between the browser and the database. And they've been putting in some really cool features that we're now starting to utilize to be able to use remote databases. So rather than having to use a database link, uh, you can actually just use ORDS and their ad hoc query capabilities to run queries directly across another database, which is really cool. Um, and then we're also being able to uh, utilize Oracle REST data services as a source for our reports and charts and, and calendars, etc., which is uh, really opening up the Application Express to really work well with other data sources, which is very important. So you can use... Oracle REST data services as your integration layer or Basically, API yeah. connector yeah, or I mean what's the best way to phrase so that? The best way to phrase it is you've got a remote data source, you want to build some reports on it and you want to build them in Apex, now you can very quickly and easily. Um, and you know we're making it so that we can work before we used to be very database centric, you know, basically everything you did was on the local database. And now we're saying, well, we don't care if it's this database, another Oracle database, or another data source altogether. You can just as easily build those same reports and, and charts and what have you using our new capabilities. Cool. Very you cool. Know, all right, so say we have, uh, uh, we're bringing on a whole new population of developers. Yep. Uh, we've got a developer community that's building very quickly around microservices, chatbots, uh, JavaScript, of course. Yep. Um, so a lot of them are thinking, you know, they, they don't think about building their application in the database. They're thinking about building it on the database. Sure. So what do you say to these folks when you say, um, wouldn't you rather build that once uh, in the database? So, I mean, one of the key things is that, um, you know, the, we're considered um, database centric. So we live inside the database and the primary skill set you need is SQL and PL SQL for building complex applications. For building your first applications, it's all drag and drop. So it's very low code and it makes it very low barrier for entry. And that's what I think is very important for small and medium businesses that have got antiquated business processes using spreadsheets, that sort of thing, that you know, it's not just the realm of the professional developer. People that are used to doing Excel macros or have been playing with access and building out little systems can get a, into Application Express very quickly and easily and start building out solutions that works for them today, but also can expand out because of the fact we're inside the database. You know, you might have 100 users now, it might expand out to 100,000 users. It's still the same application and it will just scale as you require. We've got all our cloud services which make it very cheap um, to get into it. So you can sign up for Exadata Express cloud service. It's about 170 a month. Um, oh my fact, gosh, I spend more on coffee. Yes, I know. I, I think we should have had an extra coffee this morning before we started. But <laughs> we're not going to go back to that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, so you start with an Exadata Express. A and in fact, with uh, Larry's new announcement of the um, universal credits, then they can also be applied to uh, Exadata Express cloud service, which means that customers aren't just saying, oh, we want this. It's we want to use this much computing power and they can use it on any of our cloud services. And certainly being able to use a tool like Application Express 
on that cloud service makes it very quick and easy for these customers to take something and make a really good business process and be able to get ahead of their competition. I mean, these days it's all about being able to move very quickly because that's how markets change. Right. And you've got to be able to respond. And that's what we're all about is being able to build very quickly, very easily, and with our cloud services very cheaply. Right. You know, what, what comes to mind for me is that when you've got somebody in your line of business, an intrepid little manager, yep. you know, project manager, and they're thinking, boy, I would really like to be able to run this report and just do this automatically, and I, you know, and, you know, the bottom line is, guess what? You probably already have an Oracle database running in your organization. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Th there's a lot of that that goes on that, yeah. you know, um, it's interesting when we go and talk to big organizations and over here, you know, this business unit's using a lot of Apex this business unit has no idea what Apex even is. <laughs> and, you know, we've been around since 2004. So it's not as though we're, you know, a young spring chicken in the industry. Exactly. Um, but, you know, not that we're old, old, you know, insofar as we're dated and everything else, because we continually refresh our platform underneath because it's metadata based. We can do things like take, take out our charting engine and we put in the jet charting engine which is you know part of Oracle Jet, the J JavaScript extension toolkit, and that um, is just sort of the sort of things that we do. Is as new features are available, then we can just undo what was there and put in the new one, and the applications just keep working. And now See, they're just taking the advantage of the new that's stuff. That's the key. You can make changes to the UI above or to the infrastructure below, and the application keeps running it because it just keeps running and running. Isn't that it's one of the it's biggest? It's just like things. the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Not only that, but isn't that one of the biggest pet peeves for application developers is, oh, great, I get to rewrite my application, right? We can take an application that was built in 2004 with version 1.5, and we can install that into 5.1, which is our latest production release, and it will run. Not how many platforms can say that? Not many. I don't many. believe you. It's true story. True story. That is really cool. It is that cool. Is and you know, that makes sense for a lot of these uh, use cases where you have a data set that is, I don't want to call it lethargic, but let's just say stable. Oh, um, you mean they haven't had enough coffee? Or that, you know, like a long term, like the list of nails yep. that you have, you know, in your machining factory. That's, that's not something that's going to change. No, right? no, it's pretty stable. Yeah. I'll get that. <laughs> That's right. That's probably just David Peake calling me. Hold on. Let's take that call. <laughs> Hello? I'm doing an interview right now. Yeah, she's busy. Okay, I'll call you back. Bye, Bye. for now. <laughs> okay. Sorry, back to this the subject. really bad TV. So, <laughs> no, the subject being that, you know, you're... you're uh, Catalog hasn't changed in many years, but your user interface, let's hope that it has changed over the years. Well, right? the other thing is that business is changing. You, right. know, you go back 10 years and primarily you are building purely internal systems. These days you need to build systems for your partners, for your customers. You need to build um, applications that work well on mobile devices, desktops, any sort of device. Right. And uh, with being a web-based product, then you can take the same application you're running on your desktop and run it on any device, including your smartphone. So I think that's, you know, um, a big advantage of writing with Application Express. Mm -hmm. One of the other key things is, it's, you know, I was saying a low barrier to entry. Really, if you've got a bit of SQL knowledge, then you can take this tool a long way. You know, you, if you want to take it to the next level, then you could start learning things like HTML and CSS and yeah. JavaScript. But there's no requirement that you have to learn that to be able to build a very nice looking application that's responsive, that's easy to use. And that's really one of the key things I think is these days it's all about building very intuitive applications that you don't spend a week learning how to use the application, you spend an hour right. just getting familiar with what, what's in the application and there's no training manuals on that because it should be as simple as going to Amazon and right. you know People today know how to use Amazon. They should know how to use your applications without being trained up and that sort of thing. Yeah. 
You know, another thing I like about Apex is the community around it. Oh, you're going to love our community. It's just huge. There are so many... There, there's so many people, meetups worldwide. Yep. Um, your, the Oracle world is huge. Yep. I mean, uh, Apex World is our main community site built by the community for the community. Uh, there's a Slack interface there. People are always helping each other out. And I think that's one of the key things is if you've got a problem, then it doesn't matter whether you're, uh, it's a competitor of yours or anything else, people are very happy and, and willing to give up their own time to help you to resolve your problem because of the fact they believe in the tool so much and how it's helped them and they want to give back to others that are starting out. And that's, yeah. it's, a really cool, um, it's really cool to be part of that sort of close-knit community, but it's a very welcoming community to new members as well. Ah, uh, I love it. So we're going to be having Michael Hitchwa on the show later, and I'm going to ask him to walk us through you know, all of the new apps that he has built, sure. which I'm sure he's probably well, up to 30. Um, you'd better have a bit of extra time. Shipping. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many is he up to now? Oh, I mean, he's prolific in the number of internal apps that he builds, but... Um, you know, the library also, is just huge. Yeah, we've got all our packaged applications, and you know, he spends a lot of effort uh, improving those. We actually yeah. work with a lot of internal groups that are using those. For, um, you know, I can't mention the business unit like um, mergers and acquisitions that utilize uh, one of our tools to, to track all the different acquisitions we're doing and things like that. Right. Um, you know, a lot of the sales teams are starting to pick up and utilize things like our customer tracker. And, and so w we get feedback from them, which helps us to improve the product and make it more uh, real, real, real world usable and I think that that helps them, it helps us, so it's a win-win. Oh, that's great, that's great. And a win for the customers, because they get the benefit of, of our development. Oh, positively. So, um, what was the last application that you built? <coughs> so, I built a little uh, sample projects application, um, and that was mainly to show off the master detail detail capabilities, which it's something that I've been after for a long time with Application Express and we released it back in 5.1 with Interactive Grids. Mm -hmm. And especially for those coming from Oracle Forms where they're used to building a lot of master detail, detail type of pages, then I thought it was very important to show different ways that we could represent that data. And it's all very easy, very quick declarative ways to build these pages out. Neat. So um, eight years from now, that application will still run, no matter what version of Apex you're running. That's our <laughs> intention. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm so glad you dropped by today. Well, thank you for having me, Laura. All right. It was great fun. Um, I'm going to come over to the demo area and take a look, and maybe we can build an app together. Oh, that well, would be great. you've got the skills. I do. I, I, lo I definitely low code <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much we'll talk soon okay <laughs> bye everyone bye everybody <laughs>